Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful, sunset over the end times here in paradise in the, uh, in the Point Lonesome Swamp. Hmm. Where the little dog and I are enjoying this, uh, this delicious pork loin sandwich here on this lovely Friday evening December 17th, 2021 waiting for the full moon to rise and uh man December 17th when did When did Lulu bless my life with blowing her brains out and leaving me all of this good food up there in the uh, in her little hurricane bunker? I think it was about what was it two months ago that Lulu. Uh, took her look at her life and her future and put the gun through her head and uh, left me all of this food so I you know I've been joking around collapse chronicles the past few days uh, how I am practicing the art of scrounging for food from suicides. Uh, just kind of making a sick, twisted joke, but the more I started thinking about this sick, twisted joke, the more I realized that's exactly what I am doing. exactly what I am doing. I am scrounging for food in the stockpiles of a suicide. And I, I'm thinking to myself, I know that this reminds me of, uh, of a scene in some book. And then of course it occurred to me what the book was is The Road by Carmack McCarthy. Well, if you have not read The Road, uh, that is a doomsday prophecy. You need to uh, change that. So what he talks about I'm sure there's some scenes where he's where he literally is scrounging for food from uh, the suicides. Uh, that is actually a real airplane and not an airboat. Uh, but you know, throughout the book, the recurring theme is when he and his son are taking this trip down the road uh, there's two things that he does whenever he comes up to an abandoned home site where for whatever reason no one is still living there is he scrounges for two things and as, as far as I recall money is not one of the things he scrounges for. That money means nothing. The very first thing that he scrounges for, uh, you know, after the collapse, is fossil fuels. The number one item on his agenda. 
to scrounge after the collapse of global industrial civilization as fossil fuels, uh, even though he does not own a car. And I was reminded of that with this uh, with his fuel truck explosion in Haiti a uh, couple of days ago. My guess is, what was it? Seventy-five people are dead. Another fifty are burnt up. Uh, you know, when they raced towards the fuel truck to gather all of the fossil fuels they could while they still could and ended up dying or being uh, horribly burned for the rest of their lives. I was wondering, reading that is, how many of these people even owned cars? I mean, what the fuck were they using the gasoline for? My guess is that none of those people even owned a car. And uh, they thought that, you know, getting a gallon of gasoline was worth risking their own lives for. Good God, my... Uh, but... I am thrilled to say there's no gasoline because Lulu did not have a car. You know, she had been had a DUI for life, uh, but I'm, I was amazed, absolutely flabbergasted to find when I got here that not only was, you know, that five gallon tank of propane gas uh, from the gas grill, not only was the thing here at all but it was still full of gas that I, uh, so I'm still using the, uh, the fossil fuels that, uh, Lulu left for me, you know, right before I left New York, uh, someone stole the, uh, five gallon thing of, uh, propane off the front of my camper. Some asshole in New York. Uh, that's the first thing I have ever had stolen in my life from Bugs in a Jar Farm was uh, the propane tank uh, on the front of my camper. Rob is suspicious that somebody tried to break in to his gas tank in the driveway. Right. Pretty weird, guys. Uh, so does life imitate art or does art imitate life? Uh, scrounging for food from suicides uh, all joking aside all joking aside uh, will be a very important skill to hone when all of this shit comes down this is no joke you know the first time I ever talked to, uh, heard from Antonio Reed, who, you know, Sandy has kind of kidnapped Antonio from me when Antonio was 24 years old and, uh, graduating from college a few years ago. He told me that when people asked him what he was going to do when he graduated from college, he said, most likely I will be scrounging for food. Uh, <laughs> Man. You 
you know, it is the truest ironic remarks that are the funniest. Uh, and here I sit four years later, literally scrounging for food from someone who blew their fucking brains out. Leaving all this food behind. And, uh, of course, she did not leave me any alcohol. She drank every drop of alcohol in the house. But anyway, we have a full moon rise over an airboat. Well, I think this is truly a uh, an Ansel Adams moment in the end times. Sitting here eating food I scrounged from a suicide. Watching the full moon rise over an oncoming airboat. You know, so all joking aside, I highly advise you to practice the art of scrounging for food from dead people. It will be a major, a major way to acquire sustenance here in the near future. Oh man, what do you think, little dog? Or say, Pop, I'm just scrounging for food from a living person. <clears throat> You're getting this from your Aunt Lulu. Your Aunt Lulu left you this delicious pork loin roast. guys probably cannot see the uh, moon rise over the end times. But it is a gorgeous evening to sit here and scrounge for food. Waiting for the world to collapse. Bye, guys.